So my name is Ashok. I work at the US Department of State, and uh, this is my first year and only year. So I just wanted to speak briefly about my fellowship experience, uh, why I decided to do it, uh, what I've been doing, and what comes next. I'm a professor in a small liberal arts college in upstate New York. It's Union College. So the key question for me is, do I want to spend the rest of my life in a small liberal arts college, isolated and far away from all the action. Uh, on the left-hand side is my college campus. Um, it's very pretty and um, with lots of trees and all that. And then I decided to come to the State Department to find out what's, what else is there. So this is the kind of work that I do. Uh, which country has the highest voting coincidence with the US at the United Nations? This is the sort of questions that I ask. Any guesses, quickly? It's not Canada, it's not UK, it's not Israel. It's the Federated States of Micronesia. Um, <laughs> and uh, which, which country pays the most for, uh, for the United Nations? And uh, that, it turns out, is us. Our contribution is uh, about as much as all the rest of them put together. And next question, who is the most active participant in the United Nations? Like, who sponsors the most resolutions? Turns out it's Bolivia. Um, you know, it, it, these are not some um, intuitive um, answers, so we get these results by mining the large United Nations voting data set, Bolivia followed by Australia. Then, uh, which country recently dramatically increased their troop contributions to UN peacekeeping? Turns out it's China, starting out from pretty close to zero in 2004, up until 2015, they're up to 3,000 um, 3, troops now. So. You know, there's a lot of data out there in the State Department. They have a qualitative analysis of all this data, and I bring in a quantitative analysis. One more peacekeeping graph uh, comparing the contributions of the permanent five members of the Security Council. And again, notice that China has really risen way above the um, rest, and France, the green line, is kind of going down. In addition to data analysis, we also do some um, uh, text analysis. This is um, what we talk about uh, with regard to the sustainable development goals, uh, negotiations that are going on, um, you can see things like uh, marine, Canada is there, uh, poverty, and some words that we are uh, talking about in that context. So coming back to my original question, like do I want to spend the rest of my life in a small liberal arts college? For me, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> So, uh, but uh, th there, is, um, there is more to the story. Um, I'm going to be using um, uh, some policy component in, uh, in a lot of my classes, and I'm also going to teach a dedicated class. And, uh, you know, little known fact, professors only get paid for uh, nine months a year. So in the remaining three months to monetize all these skills, I'm going to start a small consulting company on data analytics and try to earn some money. A big thanks to uh, AAAS and my mentors, the State Department, for making this possible. I've had a great time. Thank you. Thank you.